<laughs> I'm actively looking for victims that expand over a, four decades to the current of Clarence and Francis Stevens. In my mind, it's Clarence Stevens that is more of the predator. I tried to give an example. I made another video about the singer. There's a singer in this city that's now deceased. He was a millionaire. He became a millionaire twice. Um, I forget the name of his band, but you can really easily look that up. Kevin McMichael, he gave his little girl to my father, and she was my replacement when I escaped to God. So she, many of the victims don't understand that they were victims of this because they, they do things in the night. So they sneak up into their children's room in the night, take videos, take pictures. So, and then those people are put in key positions. Good educations are arranged for them. So, in people's eyes, they don't know that he had a child in foster care. So, while he was being given this millionaire, so the millionaire gave his daughter to my father, not knowing, I'm not claiming that millionaire Kevin McMichael was in a pedophile ring. No, he was in a band. He was living rock and roll life. And he went over to England to work with Robert Plant and Alison John. And there was, they were living the rock and roll life. And there, they had a little baby. So he left the baby in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. So in the world's view, my parents are heroes. She doesn't know. She just thinks they saved her from all this awful life where all these millionaires are sitting around in a room smoking and doing cocaine. And those poor children have to run around. And my great parents saved her from that terrible rock and roll life. Anyways, Kevin McMichael died. There's nobody to tell the story. Does she know that she was a victim? No. They take pictures in the night, you guys. And they have current victims and they hold old victims. They had a victim they had just like Gabriel Wartman, you guys. My parents were given all kinds of money. They bought a second home. My father retired at 45, but he was also living a double life. He was a high-ranking Mormon and in the high levels, you guys. And at high levels, you are allowed to do ceremonies that other people are not allowed to do, like the sealing rituals, okay? Awful, 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 awful. I will make a video. Anyways, you guys, I am looking for the victims. There was a victim, probably, there are victims outside of my family and there's lots of them you guys there was a girl that they abused at her second home they had a home Clarence and Francis Stevens people think they're my parents maybe I have people who adopted me as their daughter you guys I know very little of Clarence and Francis Stevens I know more about my mother because over the last five years or so she's been horrified and scared because the police beat up her best friend. She was like 80 years old. The police and the mental health people brutalized her and she was like in her 80s man. They brutalized her and members of my family to protect themselves from abuse keep telling her 
if you don't back off, we're going to have the police do that to you. So she's been telling me that, that my brother, who I don't know, you guys, I don't know these people. I'm not allowed in pedophile cults. You are not allowed to know your brothers and sisters. And we are only one year apart each. Yes. So imagine what they had to do to keep us all isolated from each other. And that's for the purpose so that they can get each kid to torture another kid and they can watch it and jerk off because <laughs> they find it fun they find it fun and they think it's normal <laughs> and there's lots of people in Nova Scotia that think that's normal and the child will be punished for not participating in that. And my parents, after they had been reported multiple times, were given jobs with child protection services. Don't tell me to prove it. Child protection services and police already destroyed those documents and they're not my documents anyways. Please come forward, there was a little girl there's a lady by name Christine Stevens. She is my niece. She looks like a native person, but she's mixed with white and Filipino. Why is that important to my story? Because my parents are white supremacists. So they severely abuse her mother. And her mother is too scared to come forward. Because if they come forward, CPS, Child Protection Services in Nova Scotia, threatens them. And she has a brand new baby. So this is how they keep us silent. Child protection workers, yes, social workers trained at King's College. Cause King, like the word human trafficking, King. Because human trafficking has the word King at the end. Kings County is where all the detention centers are. At, and those are where the police that help Gabriel Wharton with his kids are at, okay? Gabriel Wharton was a sexual deviant just because people are having sex with women. He, the women that was having sex with Gabriel Wharton were not enjoying themselves. He's a sexual deviant. His friends were sexual deviants. They predatored on women and children and men who were vulnerable. They put men who were in powerful and key positions and use sexual things to lure. Okay, and you guys, this stuff is old. It don't take any amount of mind. Gabriel Wartman lived that life since he was born. And that information is everywhere. My father was given a large amount of money like Gabriel Wartman, he has a large amount of money that is unaccounted for. He bought a second home and retired at a very young age. That second home was way back in the country, petite rippy ear. I was not allowed in that home. But people from the community Girls from that community were brought to that home, and I know for a fact that they abused a girl. She was probably around 15 or 16. They abused a girl at that location. She was a friend of Christine Stevens, who lived at Seven Curly Drive. Christine Stevens also helped me escape from some abuse. 
why are people not coming forward? Because child protection workers went and threatened everybody.